When it comes to dynamic pricing, few names resonate as strongly as Ticketmaster. The Wall Street Journal named 2023 the year of the $1,000 concert ticket. Should Ticketmaster's dynamic pricing share the blame? Or is there something else to it? Hi, my name is Rosa. I'm part of the content marketing team here at PriceFX. In this video, I want to talk about Ticketmaster's dynamic pricing. What is it and how does it work? But first, what is dynamic pricing? Dynamic pricing is the strategy of adjusting prices in real time in response to market forces, such as supply and demand, competitor pricing, and consumer buying behavior. My colleague Gabe did a video comparing dynamic pricing and price optimization, so make sure to check that one out as well. There are several types of dynamic pricing. Time-based pricing, surge-based pricing, demand-based pricing, personalized pricing, and segmented pricing. Many businesses today use a combination of any of the strategies mentioned. So let's take a look at how Ticketmaster's dynamic pricing works. At its core, Ticketmaster's dynamic pricing is largely demand-based. Prices go up and down in response to level of interest and number of seats available. The company often uses dynamic pricing in the US and the UK for popular performers such as Harry Styles or Bruce Springsteen. High demand events such as popular concerts and sports championships often come with a hefty price tag. Take what happened with Taylor Swift recently. While there isn't a pure formula for calculating the true market value of a product or service, or a set of conditions that warrant such drastic price hikes, it's worth exploring the data sources that Ticketmaster uses in its own pricing. To adjust prices, Ticketmaster uses historical data and supply and demand dynamics into its pricing algorithms. Some factors considered in its dynamic pricing model include historical sales data, number of seats available, seating segmentation, prices from the secondary ticketing market, including those of competitors and its own reselling platform, Ticketmaster Resale, seasonal events and holidays, and off-peak periods. In short, Ticketmaster's dynamic pricing is a composite of demand, time-based, and segmented pricing, and uses data that informs each of these strategies. While dynamic pricing certainly plays a role in Ticketmaster's business model, it's just one element contributing to its overall success. These factors have been equally decisive in its rise to its current position in the ticket sales market. Lack of competition in the ticket sales industry. Many critics attribute Ticketmaster's success to its lack of competition, largely thanks to its merger with Live Nation Entertainment in 2010. Despite not being the sole player on the market, Yale University reports the Ticketmaster Live Nation controls over 70% of the ticketing and live events market. Price matching with Ticketmaster Resale. Ticketmaster Resale sets a precedent for Ticketmaster's own dynamic ticket prices due to a lack of meaningful competition from other platforms. As a result, Ticketmaster's prices tend to match those of its resellers, leaving consumers with few affordable alternatives. Lack of vigilance around ticket bots. Ticket bots have been widely criticized for enabling anti-competitive selling practices on Ticketmaster resale and driving up average prices. While the use of ticket bots has been outlawed in recent years, the practice still thrives in the resale market today. Contracts with venues. Ticketmaster's long-standing relationships with major venues also works to enhance its dominance in the market. The company's exclusive contracts with venues grants them a privileged share of the tickets available, limiting the participation of other platforms. Additional surcharges. Ticketmaster's ticket fees, which cover service, order processing, and delivery fees, can cover up to 75% of the ticket base price. Ticketmaster also extracts fees from its own reselling platform. This adds further pressure on consumers in situations where ticket prices for high demand events have no limit. Dynamic pricing is just a fraction of Ticketmaster's story and their near monopoly of the live entertainment industry has a lot to do with that. In other words, Ticketmaster's dynamic pricing is just a tool among many the company uses to exercise the market share it's already locked in. Make sure to check out the article about dynamic pricing pros and cons in the description. What do you think about Ticketmaster's pricing methods? Share your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay informed and happy pricing.